Well, hello everyone. This is a beautiful reading that I have picked up on an intuition basis for you guys. Uh, since we are already in the month of October, so this is going to be how your next three months is going to look like. Obviously, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, what does not resonate, leave it be. It's a gorgeous weather outside today. Um, I don't know which part of the world you are, but wherever I am, I think it's just beautiful. It's raining and... I was so intuitively guided to do this reading for you guys. So uh, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you are a part of this tribe, the Luminous Tribe, thank you so much for being a part of this tribe. I really, really appreciate all your love, your generosity, and you viewing my channel. And if you're not yet a part of my tribe, you have an option to go ahead and do that now, okay? So let me tell you, uh, I'm going to do this reading in a very systematic way. What I'm going to do is divide this reading into three parts, okay? We're going to talk about your career, we're going to talk about your relationship, and then we're going to talk about all the guidances that you require. So career and then guidances for career, relationship, and guidances for car uh, relationship. So basically, it's two parts, okay? And... Um, it's going to be pretty in detail, so do pause the video, go get yourself a nice cuppa. If you like coffee, go ahead and do that. And if you like tea, go ahead and do that or any other choice of your beverage. I'm going to use three decks today. Okay. One is this, the Lightseer's Tarot deck. Then I'm also going to use the Divine Tarot deck. I don't know why, I've just been gravitating towards these decks generally since it's in the month of october i'm going to use that i thought i will use the witchy tarot deck and um, the nightmare what is that the nightmare before christmas but i have gravitated to, towards these so yeah i'm going to be using these decks for now okay uh, the reason you see this situation is because my tripod kind of give up on me mercury was on retrograde i hope you guys know so communication errors a lot of things that keep going a long way but now mercury is direct so i can speak to you openly communicate openly without any issues okay great we are gonna do uh i'm already channeling you guys i don't know i'm getting some messages from spirit and spirit right now and the divine um, which I'm going to give it to you shortly but before that I want to thank the universe all the deities Archangel Michael all the angels spirit guides my ancestors my bloodline my lineage and anyone and everyone who's here in the form of the highest order to help me use these tarot as tools to give you the messages that I need to give you. These messages are for people who are viewing this for the collective. Thank you, Tarot. Thank you, my cards, for being a tool of divinity and helping me in this journey of my life and helping me be the guide that I need to be. Okay. So most of my cards are shuffled. Let's start with career first. I already feel that... Uh, you know, for the ones who are waiting for some project to materialize or the ones who are waiting for some communication for a very long time, or maybe you've given an interview and you're waiting for the results of your interview that is supposed to happen shortly. Um, hmm. I'm specifically channeling for people who've been uh, waiting to move overseas like wherever whichever part of the world you are but you're waiting to move abroad or go for your studies or future career anything abroad you're waiting for that kind of call or you are dealing internationally maybe you are you are wherever you are but you're dealing in a different currency so something is coming very soon and so and this is the time span of the next three months right october november december so take it from these three months from now till the next three months october november and december okay 
I also see, I also see like an envelope. I can see an envelope sealed, and there's there are some paperwork. So maybe if it's maybe you're waiting for some sort of paperwork, maybe you're waiting to sign a contract or envelope represents communication, right? It, because it has letters, it has documentation inside, it it has some sort of information, some sort of communication that you require. Take how it resonates, you guys. So I'm, I'm just seeing I'm seeing an envelope. Sealed envelope. It's not yet open. It's waiting to be opened. I'm seeing a sealed envelope. Okay. Maybe you gotta sign something. Maybe there's some court situation going on. Okay. Maybe you're waiting for that judgment. Yeah. Uh, something like that. That kind of energy with an envelope. You know what I mean? Or it could just be an email as well, right? I don't think we write letters anymore, do we now? <laughs> so it's like some sort of, you're waiting for some sort of decision making to happen. So whether it's in the form of like I was saying, you're waiting for an interview call or whatever, but you're waiting for some, some decision to happen. There's a wait. Yes, I can see there's a wait. Okay, the cards are still not ready. Give me a second, you guys. It's still not ready. I see that this decision that... See this judgment card. Can you see this? Oh my God, spirit. Thank you, divine. I love you. Thank you so much. This, this just helps me. I am so intuitively guided today, you guys. I am so intuitively guided today. And even if this... Whatever I'm going to read today, I don't know what, I, what I'm going to read today, helps even one person, one person, one, one single person who is viewing this, watching this, I am successful in whatever I'm doing right now because it is so amazing, yeah. I'm so intuitive today and I'm feeling so good. And you know, as an intuitive person, I get like multiple channeling on a daily basis and it's just that it's not for everyone, but for whoever it is, receives it through my social media, through these channels, through Instagram, or just by, you know, in any way or form, whoever needs to get it, gets it. I'm sure they do. Okay. Three of Wands. I'm going to keep them here. Okay, this way. It doesn't matter. You can't see it anyway. It's just for me to see it. <laughs> oh, we have the Hierophant. Lovely. Already a major arcana. Two of Swords. Three of Wands. Two of Swords and Hierophant. Something was bothering you or is still bothering you. Who's picking on your brain? Sorry about that. Ooh, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody's picking on your brain. Somebody's like literally tormenting you. I can see that. Mm -mm -mm. King of Wands. So we have a lot of fiery energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, not necessary. Or you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, not necessary. Or you could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart. Not necessary, though. You know, although... Mm -mm -mm. You are strategizing. You are waiting. There's definitely a wait. There's definitely a wait. Somebody's been picking up your brain really, really hard. Really, really, like, bickering. But with the Hierophant and the King of Wands, I see here that you're going to hold your ground. You're going to stand your ground. You're waiting for the divine intervention in your life. You're waiting for that guidance. You're waiting for the right moment. You're just waiting for the right moment. Okay? You're absolutely waiting for that right moment is what I see. So like I said, there's a wait. There's a wait of something and the Knight of Wands. 
you know you are not ready you are not ready to give up any more is what i hear from the spirit you are going to be beating your own drums for the next 3 months because it's been enough is what you've said and the universe has heard you with the hierophant card i see that the universe has heard you your spirit guides have heard you your deities whoever you believe and pray on have heard you and look at the bottom of the deck ace of pentacles ace of pentacles you guys you know this is so profound this is so lovely i'm going to take that card as well i see that your spirit guides have heard you i see that all your positive karma is going to start in cashing in the form of new beginnings in the form of new money in the form of new wealth in the form of that that transaction going through in the form of that interview which is right for you you know you're getting a yes on that in the form of um everything materializing for you okay it's and that is because i'll tell you why this is going to happen so if you haven't done that as yet maybe you got to do that all the way going to pick up guidances but i'll tell you why it's going to happen okay it's going to happen because you stood your ground you were doing you you had a lot of bickering happening around you a lot of nagging a lot of pressure can i say can i use the word pressure here in terms of business in terms of finances in terms of people expecting a certain situation from you or a certain task or a project to be completed but you hold you held your ground you held your ground and you held it strong and you saw and and you know what you held your ground and you held it strong and you said to yourself that if i deviate from this path right now i'm going to be happy temporarily but i'm going to miss out on the bigger picture and the bigger picture is this ace of pentacles coming your way this is divine giving you the money this is your karmic your positive karma and cashing okay your positive karma absolutely and cashing because you were beating to your own drums now you have like sorry excuse me this is not possible i'm not going to do that anymore i'm going to be beating to my own drums because i had enough i heard you okay i heard you you were cons- constantly sitting on my head whoever you are my boss my business partners my vendors people who don't people who are like bickering right people who are pressurizing you maybe they were doing for the good for the bad it's up to you to decide but i was like so much in that crossroad situation right so it's saying that you were in a crossroad situation whether i should look at the bigger picture whether i should look at the bigger picture or i should give up and f- give up and just make this person happy you know what i mean but you held your you held your ground is what i'm hearing you held your ground so that's really great and i see definitely success definitely i mean this says it all this ace of pentacle here says it all because you know whatever you did so it's time for you to reap and you have sowed some positive karma i i don't know the hard work that you did is finally paying off i think you really meditated a lot on your root chakra and did a lot of grounding work because i get that there's a lot of grounding work that has been done here it's like you did not give up okay you did not give up which is good for you because your october november and post mercury retrograde okay now since mercury is in direct your communications will open up it's going to be smoother for you to speak your truth it's going to be absolute smoother for you to pe- uh, you know to speak your truth and that is really really required my friend that is absolutely required right now uh-huh. okay the advice that i get for you here is 
don't put yourself down in front of challenges which comes along with the way don't do that it is important to communicate clearly and accurately there are amazing new ideas and you should implement those ideas so so why do not let go of your guard is the advice that i get and if people are here to put you down it's okay that's their energy that's that's how they it's not that it's bad or good it's on how do you see that person putting you down right pass those healing vibes let the person go okay but you stick to your ground you stick to your road map and you continue on your path because this is the end goal the ace of pentacles is your end goal okay now let's check what's happening in terms of relationship what's happening in terms of relationship for you guys i'm going to use this deck for it this is a very colorful and vibrant deck so it's good it gives me accurate readings for relationships i like it what's happening in terms of relationship swords <laughs> okay five of coins queen of coins this is your energy king of cups that's your person's energy king of cups okay let's pull some more cards Ace of Swords, beautiful. Just below the King of Cups. So I'm going to explain. Let me just pull some more cards. Strength card, major card. I have. Uh huh. I'm seeing a little bit of mixed energies here, you guys. There are different stories. So I'm going to talk about each story. The lovers, look at this. The lovers, major arcana card, soulmate, twin flame energy that you're dealing with. Beautiful. Uh, uh, uh. And six of wands. Nice. But look at this, what we have at the bottom of the deck. It's four of wands. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. For you to go from the two of swords energy till the four of wands energy, there is a little bit of situation here in between, okay? Now, first of all, let's get this straight. We have the queen of coins, the king of cups, and the lovers, okay? Absolute twin flame and soulmate energy. You are a very secured person in your own element. You are independently strong. You're financially doing well okay or you're working hard to be wherever you are in your own way and the person who you're dealing with he or she or whatever the gender is this person is the king of cups this person is a very emotionally fulfilling person okay but i think what was stopping you guys was that somebody felt a little left out in the cold somebody felt hurt deceived there could have been some arguments. There could have been some situation where it's not going together how you guys wanted it to go. Okay. And you must have found yourself in that energy of two of swords, which is on the crossroad energy. You were not sure whether you need to break up. You need to stay in this relationship or the energy of this person was pull and push kind of energy. However, I see that with the strength card, okay. What you're going to do is, you're going to bring in your inner strength. You're going to understand that sometimes you look at the person with the way you want to look at the person. It's not necessarily how the person wants to be looked at, 
vice versa as well. And I hear that there was a lot of projection issue here. It was a lot of, uh, you did this, I did this kind of situation, right? And with the Ace of Swords, I also see that there were new communications coming your way. There could be multiple communications coming your way from outside this twin flame soulmate energy. New people approaching, people from the past approaching, could that be a possibility? Or people you've dated were trying to get back to you or just random dates or some communication that was happening which was really not good. But with the Six of Wands, I see that you guys can be victorious and you can have a commitment, move in together, get married, go to the next step as well. I see that can be there in the future, okay? But what was really stopping was a whole lot of communication error, was a whole lot of you know, projection. I see there was a projection of some sort or something that did not go very well down with both of you. But here, communication is the key. Your absolute communication is the key because I see that you wanted to tame the beast with the lover's card. And here in the Divine Tower deck, the lover's card looks absolutely different. It's more of the beauty and the beast concept, you know. And you must have thought that you're taming the beast, but no. But no, my friend. No, you cannot tame someone, you cannot control someone, you cannot, I mean, take the roles as reverse because it's a general reading, so take what resonates, maybe it could be the opposite person, right? Maybe there were some habits, some situation that you did not like. And look at the energy, although it's the king of cups here, it's a dragon, so it's also, again, a very beastly feature. I'm not talking about the appearance, I'm talking about the habits that you thought is a beast, right? In your life but you still love the person you still feel very solely connected to the person's hen you are in this relationship with this person okay but I see I mean this looks like a marriage card look at this this is a marriage card and that is there that is there in the near future that energy is definitely there in the near future now you gotta be victorious I think you gotta change the way you think and for that communication is Super, super important. Let's see what's the advice that we get here for you. Ten of Springs. Queen of Springs. Wow. Look at this fiery energy. I see that you are extremely talented and friendly, okay? Or maybe the person that you're dealing with is extremely talented and friendly. And you got to believe in yourself. Okay, you got to ask yourself that this relationship that I'm looking for, this four of wands energy that I'm looking for, this marriage, this commitment, this moving in together that I'm looking for, is this a balanced relationship? Hmm? You got to ask that. Or maybe you both are working or in a different state or a different country or working a lot. And you're not able to find time for each other. So you may be losing that balance. So you have to... Meet between the bridge, I always say that. And check, is this a balanced relationship? Is this something that makes both of us happy? Okay? And if you really keep finding yourself putting all the weight only on your shoulder, it's okay to drop off that weight. And by that I mean is, you cannot have all work. You also have to bring some play in the picture, is what I read. You know what I mean? <laughs> You gotta bring some romance, like you as in you and your person both, you gotta do some role play. If the situation is not very seductive in, in the areas of bed, right, is what I'm hearing. I mean, you cannot be so distant in intimacy and accept sexual relationship or good partnership and I see there's a lack of intimacy as as well and I'm sorry but this is the message that I'm getting so I'm going to just speak the way I see it okay and I see that there is a lack of intimacy and you can be intimate with anybody in your life the the meaning of intimacy does not just mean that it's I mean it's a great way to start sexual activity and physical relationship but intimacy also has got to do a lot of self-love first you got to love yourself wholly, com completely, and you have to be committed to being the best version of you so that you get the best version of somebody with you, you know? Otherwise, you're going to keep finding yourself in crossroads. You're going to keep finding yourself self in two of swords energy and five of pentacles energy where you feel left out of the cold because you yourself 
in your head are leaving yourself out of the goal and also i'm saying you know drop off some weight if you feel that this relationship is really uh, logging on you it's like by get into a mentorship program get into a counseling program you know put the weight down you may be feeling like too too much of responsibility at too much like at the same time all right there has to be communication the communication of ease effortless communication is very important you either speak to your person directly or get help from someone to speak to your person right okay so that's your message let's check from the oracle if you're getting any more messages for your next three months that you need to think what are the messages these cards are a little difficult to shuffle but i love them these oracle cards are super they are amazing it's a little difficult to shuffle but this one flipped oh my god there's too many so i'm going to just take one that flipped okay um uh, oh this look at this it looks so pretty it looks so pretty you know uh where i am located right now i so happened to go out with one of my friends like last week i think last sunday i'm not sure and I bumped into a huge banyan tree. I love, 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 love a banyan tree. And I went to hold, I mean, this is the feeling. I, and I went to hold the bark because I wanted to just meditate for like five minutes in the open air and get into the grounding energy. And a black tomadian just came like barging at me. Oh my God. And I get so scared of lizards. So scared of lizards. It just came right on me. And I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm, why I'm sharing that with you. <laughs> but it was a very crazy moment. I was so petrified. I wanted to run away. Uh, but the banyan tree, you know, for the two minutes, five minutes, to the time that this, the Tamarian didn't think of barging at me, I felt so grounded and so rooted and so amazing. And I felt like I'm a part of this earth and I belong here. Because so many times we feel that we do not belong on this earth. But we definitely do belong here and that's a life path and a life purpose and we've been put here for a reason so we need to find a life path and purpose just something that i'm channeling and i thought you need to know okay it says manifesting miracles wow your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so going back i'm getting this feeling for your career and also for four of wands energy which is your commitment and your next level if if that's your dream it's 100 going to turn out into reality 100 okay and off the bat i'm getting this all red energy is like you need to really concentrate on your root chakra my friend like get into the grounding energy deep breaths imagine a red bright light at the base of your spine and that's healing and that's opening up okay and just get into this grounding vision and that's really really going to help you so manifesting mindset is what you need to have first and that's how you're manifesting your miracles and and trust and let go trust in the process of the universe and let go okay let's check here what's the monology saying i i'm 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 just loving the way this reading is unfolding it's so intuitive it's so powerful and i feel that i could give out every bit of message today to whoever needs to find it has found it has found it you needed to hear this the one who needed to hear this the one or the many <laughs> and do claim it okay take time to breathe out didn't i say that get into a grounding energy take time to breathe out okay definitely you need to get into the grounding energy take time to breathe out definitely most definitely because there's a lot going on in your life there's a lot going on in your life and you really need to get into the grounding energy balance yourself out and things will just automatically unfold you do not have to you know worry about anything is what i hear and the answers you need are coming three months believe you me three months and you're sorted you're sorted like you don't have to wait till the year to get over you can already see the transformation you can already see the process you can already see like 
the bun cooking in the oven you know you can already see things coming into fruition and that's going to do a make believe in your life fortune cookie okay this is just for fun we're going to check what's your fortune cookie i generally use these fortune cookie cards on instagram and whenever i remember to do so but let's check if there's a fun message for you guys here and this one said love life <laughs> Uh -huh. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So this message is for you for this week. A good decision is going to be resolved this week. Just forget about the roadblocks in your life. The another one is health, 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 health. Um, an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet many new friendships are on the horizon so this is so if you haven't been doing that already start a new diet start a new plan you can always get into spiritual hygiene mental hygiene mental health spiritual health walk a bit you know just don't use the oil so much stay away from that extra sodium sugar all of that and sunshine, I did not know, but you know, believe me, this little candle here, just look at the way the flame is going. I was get, although it's been raining and the weather's been a little beautifully dull, let me put it across that way. And I was craving for a little bit of sunshine today, but not like that in the face, the sunshine that says joy, happiness, radiance and glow and this candle, you know, right here, right now, and reminds me of that. And this card, this, this, this fortune was waiting to pull up. It says, the sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. I think this just sums up our entire reading, right? This is what we were waiting for. We, this is what we were waiting for the divine to tell you or tell us that the sun is shining bright on a career and business opportunities and growth. We need to have a growth mindset. We need to be fabulous in communication so our relationships get better. You guys, I love you so much. And if this all resonated with you, please do let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon. This is absolutely free. Do follow me on Instagram. I am on Instagram as Luminous Guide. Connect with me for a one-on-one -on -one reading or a personal coaching or a cleansing if you would like to. I want to give you all my love, all the sunshine, all the blessings, a lot of cleansing, hope, dreams and desires. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.